friends, today I want to work on a canvas board. I cut it to this long length. Um, I was actually going to make pa panels, but I decided against it and I left it long. Um, and I'm going to do a painting on it. And one of the ideas for Brave, um, last one of the Braves we had, was to do some feather ideas. So I'm going to do a little canvas of uh, an interesting shape. Of a rectangle canvas with feather on it. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my brave today and do that. So what I'm going to do, clamp my book open. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. It's just giving me an idea of maybe what I kind of want to do. So I'm going to have that there as inspiration. And I've decided that I want to kind of play with the background here a bit so I'm going to put a little bit of a deep burgundy background just a bit and well I'm going to paint the whole thing deep burgundy but let's see if I actually open this yet <laughs> but I'm also have not opened it I'm also going to go cover over it so then I could pull back some color sanding it like I like to do but I think I'm just going to sand the background. I don't have intentions at, as of yet to sand the. I gotta get that a little bit shaken up. The foreground. So I'm going to cover that up. So I cut quite a bit. I didn't mix it up at first really well. So what I'm going to do now is get the background on there. So I want that burgundy background to come up forward. I'm going to grab a little red. Oh, it might be dry. It might be dry. See, I had some colors here. I was thinking I was going to use them up. So the burgundy gives it like a little bit of a rust color and I like that. So that's my background. And then I'm going to dry that up and I'm going to add, I would like to add like um, an antique white of some sort, a cream, buttercream or antique white. Now I'm going to go with the buttermilk. That's the color I was actually thinking of. And is this one open? <laughs> wow. Not open, but that's okay. We will open the buttermilk. And then I'm just going to put it on here directly. And hopefully it'll go on pretty good. I want full coverage of buttermilk. I see it's not so white. And I like that. It gives it an antique look. You can play around with different shapes and sizes of canvas boards when you cut them up and that kind of thing. You can really do some playing around with them. I like that about the canvas board. So if you have a thin piece you want to do, a thinner piece like with the, with the feather I want to do, you can do that. You can achieve that look. So make sure it's fully covered. And give that a dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to take. Let's see if I can scrape some the color off. It's still a little bit warm, so I'm scraping along with my. It's warm. Do it when it's warm and the paint's kind of easy to scrape. There we go. And I'm just going to slightly go back. Got kind of a nice warm look. Um, worn look. So maybe, I don't know. I don't mind it. It's kind of neat. Different. Could do like an even dark background too. So this is what we got. Okay. I'm 
I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of shading. You can use ink. I'm going to use a little metallic lusters just because it's how I have it out. So, and just it's going to might not be the look I want, but I'm throwing it out there just to dinge it up a bit. There we go. Ink would work too, just to dinge it up. This has got a little bit of a sparkle to it, so if it, maybe not dingy enough, but I like it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, there's a couple of things I could do. I could just kind of go for the flow of it of trying to make a feather shape, or I can do like a stamped image of a feather, which I think I'm just going to go for the flow of it and do a muted no I'm gonna do like a teal I'm just gonna do a teal feather I'm just gonna do a muted blue but I'm just gonna do a teal feather lots of water in it I'm gonna add water to it you guys I wonder if you can see that here you go and I'm just gonna go and make a feather shape with my brush, I have this three inch, quarter inch, I think it's called. I'm not good with that brush. I might be a little off. And just kind of paint myself a feather looking type of image. I'm going to be trying to make the strokes kind of go like feathers would after I get my kind of get down to where. I'm liking it, so now I'm kind of stroking in. Feather like, feather like. And it's just a play with it, really. It's your own design. So this is just a painted feather. You can also doodle on it after. Whatever you wish. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? So you gotta go with your angle. Your angle and you just kind of go down the center. And now I'm going to dry that up. I am super happy with this feather. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with a smaller angle brush, I'm going to grab I'm going to grab with this here and grab a tad of black, put it in with my teal that I had here, see if I have any room for more. And I'm just going to mix it up a bit. Just, it's a little darker, but still the teal, it's like a dusty, gringy, grungy. So I'm just going to go in a few spots and kind of add some layer. Just like that and if I feel like I have too much on my brush I could just brush it off kind of do a dry brush and just keep going like that just a little bit of a low light down the center just like that now I'm going over top with some of the brighter teal again 
I might have put too much or however you feel about it. Till you feel right. And Now it's a little bit tinged up. Now what we're going to do is dry it off again. Now we're going to do a little bit of black details. And I like to do it with, I'm going to do it with my Posca pen, I think. Now I'm just going to work with my Posca pen. Then we gently go down. And I'm just going to go little by little. You can use gel pen, anything that you want to use that's got a thin point, a thinner point to get the feathers in. And that's basically all that is to this project. So I hope you guys give it a try because it's easy and fun just to paint. And you guys can do your doodles or anything that you've done on your Brave if you wish to use your Brave idea. If you follow along in the Brave, which I post on Thursdays. Um, yeah, there's my feather going to do a few pieces that are really showing kind of like detail out and then a few smaller shorter pieces and just play with it and make it look your own you could use detail brush as well as in black paint And, uh, yeah, so I'm like to do some thicker areas a bit here where I'm just adding more details to show and then I'm going to do some little thinner areas just like this where you kind of just go along. And you can use anything. To make your details on your feather. And there we go. And when you do some of the low lights in the background, it kind of darkens up some of those areas that you want to maybe have more shading. And you have different thicknesses and that kind of thing going on. And there we go. What I'm going to do is going to spray a little alcohol on cloth and pick up any, just a little bit of the, I don't know if it works, but in my mind I'm thinking it will work. Pick up a little bit of the ink from the Posca pen and kind of smear it in and make it look a little bit worn and go the flow of the feather don't go against the grain otherwise you're going to show that it's really your, what you're doing but can you see how I'm kind of blurring it up by doing that 
And you do it pretty much right away before the Posca pen dries too much because I'm not sure if it'll work if it dries too much. And then that's how you lighten it up just a bit. You worry about the outside of the feather after. But you just got to make sure that you get all of the pieces coming at the right angle. Alcohol is very, the alcohol sprays are very, you can use them in a lot of different ways in your projects. It's amazing. See how it just blurs the lines? Now I'm going to grab another more clear spot, spray it on here, and kind of, once again, go along my feather, clean that up. Isn't that nice? Cleans up really well. And there is my finished feather. You can add any kind of highlights to it, gold, anything. I might add some gold to it. I love gold. I'm just going to grab a little bit of gold rush, wet it a bit, and just put pull a little gold through. Here and there. So you get some certain angles I look at, you're gonna see some gold. And of course I'm going with the feather lines. And I'm going on the thickest parts, I think it'll suit it. And that is it for me. Done project. That is my feathered canvas board. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project and give it a try. Can you see then how the gold picks up and it's not everywhere? It's really nice. So I hope you guys give it a try. Check out the uh, Brave video and play with feathers. Um, you can doodle and whatever on your canvas as well. It's just I thought this is what I wanted to do with that doodle kind of inspired me to do this board don't forget to craft like a duck guys and i will talk to you guys later there we go bye friends bye